I saw a video the other day and it was about Tech Lead and it was talking about how he made a video to saying that software engineering is grunt work. I wouldn't characterize it as grunt work. That is not the term that I would use. That being said, I do know what he was talking about and I do know what he was referring to. And I can speak about it from my perspective. Um, so the reason I got into software engineering was because I like to build things. I like creativity, I like solving problems in new ways, in ways that haven't been done before. And so that's kind of what led me along this path to get into software engineering. Obviously the money was a great aspect of it too. But um, I said that to say that when I had the idea to get into it, I had an idea about what I thought it was, you know, and I've been doing this since 2014. So it definitely has changed since then. And I think the thing that I learned quite quickly once I actually started working was a lot of the work that I do professionally, a lot of the work that software engineers do professionally is not the kind of stuff that you dream about. You don't dream about fixing bugs. You don't dream about building someone else's vision. You know, we look at society, right? And we look at how society has been transformed by technology. We look at, you know, some of the biggest companies in the world are tech companies, you know, Apple, Microsoft, Google, right? And we look at the people that made those companies. You know, you look at the people that founded Google. You look at someone like Mark Zuckerberg, you know, people that had an idea and in their garage or their basement, they went and built that idea and changed the world, you know, made themselves rich in the process. I think a lot of us, when we had the idea to become software engineers, we weren't necessarily striving for that, but that image was in our minds, you know, that image of the rock star developer of the glamorous life that you can get from being a software engineer. And I think what Geomatech was getting at is that the reality for most software engineers is not that. The reality is, especially in today's world, because if we go back to, you know, Facebook was made in 2004, um, Google, you know, I think it was a few years before that. If we go back to that time, the world was a very different place. Software wasn't as integrated in our everyday lives as it is today. And back then, if you built software, it was likely that you were building brand new software to solve a problem in a new way. The difference with, between that and now is that now software is everywhere. You know, pretty much everything, every aspect of our lives has software in it. And the result of that is you have a lot of companies and businesses seeing software as a necessity. And a lot of these companies and businesses aren't doing anything particularly exciting. But, you know, on top of that, what happens is because they view software as a necessity, which it is, they don't give the freedom to software engineers that you would get to be able to do something creative. What happens is you have business managers, you have CEOs, you have people thinking, okay, this is what we need to do with this part of the business, but we don't have the expertise to build it, so let's bring in some software engineers to build it. And that, I think, is what Geomatech was getting at because, you know, I've worked for various companies and I learned quite quickly that you don't get any freedom when you're working professionally, you know, unless you're working in research, you know, or maybe if you're working for Fang, you might have the freedom to say, okay, hey, I want to do this thing and, you know, I want to integrate this new technology. The vast majority of software engineers don't get up, don't get that opportunity. For the vast majority of engineers, what happens is, you know, you work with the designers, you work with product managers, and essentially everybody just tells you what to do. You know, they come up with a design, they come up with an idea, they come up with a new feature for the software that they already have, or they come up with an idea for an app to, you know, for you to build, and they just give it to you, and then you have to build it. And so what's happened is, Software engineering has gone from those early days when you had, you know, people like Zuckerberg building whatever they wanted and, you know, getting rich off it and changing the world to, what, this, to the situation that we have today where you essentially just build someone else's idea. You make them rich, you know. And that's not to say we don't get paid a lot to be a software engineer. We do. But we aren't the drivers of innovation that we used to be, at least most of us. We can be, but the reality is for most of us, you know, we work a nine to five Monday to Friday, we get our paycheck. And during that time, what we do is we just build someone else's idea. You know, we might have a million and one ideas about how the feature that we're building isn't, you know, going to be successful or isn't the best idea for that product. A lot of times no one listens to you because that is the reality of software engineering. And so 
I said, I said all that to say that I wouldn't characterize it as grunt work, but I do think that a lot of it is essentially we are doing things that we wouldn't necessarily do if we were given the freedom to do whatever we wanted. And that is, I think, what he was getting at. And, you know, and that's not to say that software engineering isn't fun and that's not to say that it's not a great career. You know, I think it is. I just think that the glamour that, you know, became attached to the profession, you know, the way that it started, that glamour doesn't really exist in a day-to-day -day life for most software engineers.